Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, no much good depending on your location. Please join in the struggle to the better people from the contraption. Like and share videos. Today is Monday, the 15th day of July 2024. I bring a news update. The Ministry of Livestock will be an instrument of hidden migration to bring in more Fulani from all over Africa to Nigeria. That's according to Professor Yusuf Turaki. Oh, yes. Now, he said, one agenda Fulani have as their most powerful tool stronger than jihad is migration yes professor yusuf turaki a key member of the nigerian indigenous and nationalities yes indigenous nationalities in nigeria alliance for that has shared his concerns about president Tinubu's decision to create minister of livestock development oh yes now he said the fulanese have a powerful strategy that is even more stronger than jihad which is migration. He said, Ministry of Livestock Development will support policies that encourage more Fulani people to move to Nigeria from other parts of Africa. He said, the new ministry will implement various livestock-related programs, such as the Ruga philosophy, river basin development, ranches, and cattle colonies. Yes. In his words, quote, one agenda that the Fulani have as their most powerful tool that is more powerful and stronger than jihad is migration. That is what they are doing. The Ministry of Livestock will now implement the Ruga philosophy, the River Basin philosophy, the Ranches philosophy, and the Cattle Colony philosophy. This is what it will come to be. The Ministry of Livestock will be an instrument of hidden immigration to bring in, to bring in more Fulani from all over Africa to Nigeria. But what is that this policy? I've stopped quoting now. Yes, this is what he said. Talking about the Ministry of Livestock that Tinubu created. That's the Ministry of Fulani Hesmen. Yes. Now, this Ministry of Fulani Hesmen, the man said, this is to bring in more Fulanis into the country. Yes, said, they will come because they have this strategy as their tool. Yes, say so this strategy is a powerful tool. It's even stronger than the jihad itself. That is migration. They will be coming in large numbers in their droves entering a particular country. And yes, yes, they will be coming in their large numbers. And of course, uh, in Niger states, they say they have more concentration of foreigners. Yes. The governor of Niger State said it. I said he's pleased with it because they're coming to rear cows for them to eat. So, what are they coming to do? To rear cows, right? And these cows have been rejected. That's why I'm saying it now. That in the southeast, rejection of this cow is the best thing for everyone. They say they're coming to rear cows. That's, the, you know, what they're putting forward to deceive the gullible. Yes. So the best thing for you to reject that their 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 business. Business is if you like your partners, if you don't like, you withdraw your patronage. So Ndiwo, withdraw your patronage of Fulani cows that is killing you. That is killing the people of you know Middle Bat. That is killing the people of Southwest, the Yobas, killing the the Niger Tans. Killing all indigenous Nigerians. Stop eating this Fulani cow meat. Madam Kano gave you warning earlier about this Fulani cow meat. It is not hygienic. Yes, it's killing. It's bringing diseases. That's what we're talking about. It's killing people. If you are eating, consuming this unhealthy meat, contaminated meat, you will not live long. You will not live long. It's bringing untimely death to people. You must understand this. These cows are not well taken care of, not treated. Yes. So, the meats are contaminated. They're not hygienic. So, don't eat. They're not healthy. That's the point. They are sick. Sick, full any cows. They carry them to trek, you know, several kilometers on daily basis. They will look weak, haggard, and diseased. They will sell, you go and buy. 
and job. Yes, avoid it for your own good. Yes, go to the other climbs where they are doing proper ranching, proper ranching in their domain. Yes, where they will keep cow in a place and be feeding the cow. Cow will be healthy, the cow will be look robust. Yes, when you look at the cow, you say, yes, this cow is healthy for consumption. That is the point. But here, they will be trekking with cows several kilometers every day, every day, suffering the cows, no food, only grass. They will be grazing. Yes, there will be food, good food for the cows, just grazing, suffering the cows. They will be trekking far distances. So this cow is not good for you. They are, un they are unhealthy and diseased. Yes. So that's what was Reject, like in Ebony State communities, and communities in Ebony State, they are chasing them away from the market. Even if you're a man, you are selling for any cows, they chase you away from the market. In Ebony State. Even if you're an Ibo man selling for any cows, they will chase you. The youth will come and chase you away with your good, with your west, with your Fulani cow, out from the market. That's supposed to be what our people are supposed to be implementing in the various markets. Chase them away. If you are not hearing word, you go and buy Fulani cows to go and transact business. They will chase you away. The youths, the age grades, the volunteers will say, pack and go. Go home with your cow meat and eat only with you. Yes, don't come and sell to people. There's safety, but there's alternatives. Yes, even these ranches, Ndibo, are going into ranches. If you want to do ranch, let them do it in their home. If you want to do ruga, let them do it in their home. You have heard that they are coming, they are large numbers, so if they come, they should stay in their northern region. Nobody is coming to South East to do any business because business is not going there. Cow business is not going there. So you are not coming. What are you coming to do again? The people are, have rejected the cow meat. So no place for you. No ruga in the South East. No ranch by the Fulanis in the South East. Let Tinibu give them his land in Lagos. If there's any land in Lagos, let them go, let them go to Lagos Island and do their ranching there. Yes. Let them go to Lagos Island and do ranching. Let them construct ranch for them, Lagos Island. That's where he said he's come from. That's in the state he claims to come from. That's uh, Balatinibu. So let them go to Lagos and do their ranching. Or if possible, any other southwestern states, any other Yoruba states, because Tinibu said he's in Obama. So let them go to any of the states in Yoruba and do their ranch. Yes. You have a kitty state there. You have uh, Ondo. Oyo is there. Ogun state is there. Oshun is there. Yes. Even even uh, Wara. Yes. Still there. Okay? Yes. Let them do their ranching there. You have six southwestern states. So let them do it there. It's your bad place. Your bad enclave. Tribu said he's bringing Fulani Hesmina from other African countries 